So, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry this is a little kind of off the cuff kind of video. I mean, I don't think any of us were expecting the fucking news we ended up waking up to today. But, I'm pretty sure as you guys know, yeah, it's over. The super best friends have officially disbanded after all of these years. Now, apparently, well, nobody knows the back the backstory. Now, they did say, like, well, at first, when Wooly says that, yep, Pat and Matt are no longer friends with each other anymore, he kind of took that as a joke at first. But then as, like, the video goes on and, like, you see, like, this is actually a real thing and like how surreal it is it's I, again i'm still speechless trying to piece all this shit along together as best as i could but it's like it's a fucking bummer man like but like before you guys before the missus was here back in fucking 13 14 when i was in high school when I would be at my lowest points and I would be depressed as shit, these guys would be the ones here to help me out. Like how funny the whole gang was, even Liam, shout out to Liam, from Wooly to Liam to Matt to Pat, how funny their sense of humor was, how good, how much they can make out of a shitty situation if the game was shitty, looking at you Omicron from like everything else they brought to the table like that would give me the strength and energy to rise up out of my fucking depression you know what I mean and again I apologize if this video is a little awkward but it's kind of an awkward situation right now um and I could I again I kind of I don't want to say I saw, like, it, I don't want to come off as shitty saying that, like, I kind of knew something like this would happen. It was more so, if you go back as far as October and you watch the shitstorm, you can tell, like, a lot of stuff was off for that shitstorm that October. And I think it all boils down to, at the end of the day, is, like, the business side of things and how, like, kind of hectic it was, like... People were burning off into their side channels, like Liam. Everyone has their side channels now. And I think it kind of boils down to, like, this schedule was a little too hectic to the point where, like, okay, you have three LPs going on at once. And you have the side channel stuff. And you have the podcast. And you have the Scrub Lords and Fisticuffs episodes every week. Like, it, I think that's what it really boils down to. It was just it was too much, honestly. And when it gets too much, it, it's, it kind of starts being more of a chore. And it starts to become more of a chore and less of a fun thing to do than what you started to do this in the first place. It kind of can get a little hectic and people can get pissed off. You know what I mean? But if I doubt you guys will even... You probably, you guys probably barely know who I am, but if you guys are watching this, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. Thank you. Even Liam, who left a long time ago, but still shout out to Liam because he was another part that like helped build this foundation that we all live for. Matt, Pat, Wooly, Liam, all four of you guys, thank you so much for all the laughs you've given us over the years. I... I can't stop telling you how much I wouldn't have been here without you guys. Now, some of you guys are thinking, but for people that don't follow my channel, you can click off the video already. Um, you guys are probably wondering what is the future of my channel and the compilations and stuff like that, yada, yada, yada. Um, honestly, well, unfortunately, you won't be getting your Kingdom Hearts or your Star Trek uh, compilation. Because they're proud, yeah, they're not going to finish that. Which, again, I don't care. It's 
give the guys time to like recover and do their own thing you know what i mean like th honestly that's the one thing i want people to take out of this and i'm taking out of this is like hopefully like they're doing their own side channels thing and the schedule isn't as hectic and they're all going the other way hopefully this will lead to matt to mend things with pat one day i be i 100 percent believe it one day they'll be good with each other but you got to give it time right now you just have to give it time but as for the future of the channel um yeah you unfortunately won't be getting your compilations up for those two which is fine honestly um tokyo mirage mirage why did i say mirage? i guess so. or no tokyo mirage that compilation will be coming out soon very soon um you'll still see me do some compilations for old for old lps because trust me there's a lot of lps i haven't gotten to yet a lot so you'll still be co getting compilations for a long time and also I, it is cool with them what am i talking about you will be seeing compilations from their side channels of any games like that they lp whether it's in an lp fashion or stream fashion you will be seeing compilations for that and just the usual stuff with me doing the whole reaction videos on my channel and the game shit um and also once we're out of the dmc2 hellhole we'll be going i'm gonna keep continuing the series we'll go to dmc3 then four and when it does come out i will be doing dmc5 on the channel Ta -da. but once again thank you guys you guys promised nothing and delivered more than you guys could ever know or ever will see <sighs> love you guys see you soon gang